Hello, welcome to this episode of Rich Insights. I'm Don Rich, Head of Investments for Esoteric Capital Mar Markets. Today's topic is stimulus bill passes, markets celebrate, at least for now. All right, so we got a lot to cover today. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, to start with, we had a big day yesterday, right? A huge day. Let's jump right into it. You can see yesterday was the biggest move we've had since 1933. It's the fifth, it was also the fifth biggest move uh, in, in recorded history, right? You can see the previous, uh, or the four larger days occurred between 1929 and 1933. All right, so it was a meaningful move, meaningful move by any measure yesterday. All right, and, and again, what we're seeing is, is some buy the rumor and, and sell the fact, right? So it was rumored yesterday afternoon, um, in fact, all day yesterday, that the stimulus bill was going to pass the Senate, and it did. And it did. So let's talk about uh, some of the highlights of, of the uh, bill that passed. Now, there's increased unemployment benefits, right? That's one of the biggest uh, pieces to it. And tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to get our first data point out of the U.S. Uh, that's it, that's uh, fully reflected of the virus environment, right? We're going to get initial claims, um, those applying for unemployment insurance for, for the first time. It's going to be announced tomorrow, All right? And that's likely to be a very scary number. We'll talk about that tomorrow. So anyway, the, the, the extension to the unemployment benefits is, is quite meaningful. Now, on top of that, we've got the helicopter money, right? The helicopter money. So we're, we're going to be uh, receiving checks uh, in the mail, to, so, so to speak, and that's going to be meaningful. That's going to allow a number of people uh, to pay their rent or their mortgage, uh, to buy groceries for at least a couple of months. All right. That is huge. That is huge. Now, on top of that, there's some uh, provisions uh, for the healthcare industry. Hospitals, in particular, are going to get some of the uh, stimulus package, and the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is going to be in there uh, as well. Uh, the Federal Reserve, uh, uh, the the Congress is backstopped about 425, 450 billion dollars uh, uh, to the Federal Reserve. All right. So <clears throat> this is the one that we don't know about, right? The Federal Reserve is very good at solving financial crisis, uh, solving financial problems. The Federal Reserve is very good working directly with the banks. But when you're talking about direct lending to SMEs, right, small and medium-sized enterprises, the Fed doesn't have much experience in that area, all right? So we're gonna have to see how that goes. That, 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 that could be pretty hairy. Now, let's just talk about the uh, helicopter money that's coming for a second. All right, there's really three possible forms of this helicopter money. One would be they, they, they send the check to you in the mail. All right, that tends to have the most meaningful effect, right? Because you can actually see it. Wow, it's a big check. For a lot of people, it's, it's gonna be a, a sizable check. And psychologically, that has a big effect. Now, the problem with that, of course, if you send, send it to people, the idea is uh, to get them to spend it, to stimulate the economy. If they save uh, the stimulus check, it's less effective in the grand scheme of things. It might be the right thing to do, but it's less effective. So, one, they send a physical check to you in the mail. Again, the psychological impact there. The second is uh, what they're going to do is, is actually deposit it electronically into your account. You don't actually see the money until it shows up on your, your bank slip, but you get the lump sum all at once. Now, the third thing is, the, th the third possible way is something the, uh, that pr President Obama did during 2008, and that is give you small pieces of the stimulus check over an extended period of time. All right, so think about this. Whether you get a $1,000 check in the mail uh, in, in, in one lump sum or you get $50 for the next 20 weeks, all right, in both cases, we're talking about $1,000, right? It, it really shouldn't matter. 
but uh, again, it does. It does. If, if you had $50 uh, effectively to everybody's paycheck for the next 20 weeks, it just doesn't have the same effect. Um, people don't think of it, you know, as a massive stimulus package. So anyway, that's, that's, that was the good news. That was the, good, the, the, the really big news. And you sense there's a butt coming, right? There's a butt coming. Well, uh, there is, right? We still have to um, exert some extreme caution here. I said many times before, right, this is a difficult environment for retail investors, for individual investors. You have to watch things very closely. All right, so, so what should we see from here? All right, those that are expecting that we go back to February levels uh, in terms of stock prices, right, early February levels, you're going to be disappointed. I don't see any way that you can't be disappointed, right? We're... we're, we're most likely going to level off from here, right? Level off from here. Things are going to calm down. Things are going to calm down. Uh, and, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we had a 5 to 10% move up in prices. All right. So as we float sort of sideways, there would most likely be some positive drift to this, this, this floating. But there's still you know, other things to consider. So, Again, passing this stimulus package, that is huge, huge. Oh, that's right, that's right. You thought Liz, I, Lizzo has nothing on me, all right? Lizzo has nothing on me. This is huge. But we have to keep this in perspective, right? There's still other elements to consider from an investment's perspective. All right. Now, one of those uh, was a news event that also came yesterday. Right, probably don't know about it because it didn't didn't show up uh, or it couldn't overwhelm the the news about the stimulus package. But what else happened yesterday? Delta Airlines was an investment grade firm, and yesterday they were cut to junk. Right, they lost their investment grade st status. Now they're high yield. They were cut to uh, the junk status. All right, we talked about this many times. We've got th this whole investment grade. Bond index, all right? All the U.S. Uh, bond issuers are uh, that are investment grade. Well, about 50 to 60% of them are in triple B, the lowest level of investment grade. And as those start being downgraded, my fear, I shared it with you many times before, my fear is we start to see this, all right? So, I'm hesitant even to cover this topic today. Again, we should focus on the good news. And it is good news. But this is most likely the end of the first down wave. All right. Again, I think that we're in this downward channel. I've talked about it many times. And we've probably seen the worst for now. Now, is that two weeks or two months before... Um, the next wave comes, still not sure about that. Yeah, particularly in this virus, uh, this coronavirus environment, we really haven't seen anything in our lifetime uh, uh, similar to this. So we don't know how things are going to unfold, the speed at which things are going to unfold. So we have to cheer the stimulus package. We needed it. It was passed. It was passed by Senate, right? It was passed by Senate. Uh, but we also have to keep in mind, particularly those that are thinking about buying this dip, we have to keep in mind that uh, this is likely uh, not the end of the bad news, right? There still might be um, uh, more events coming, particularly in uh, the credit bond market, in the in the uh, credit markets, in the investment grade uh, corporate bond markets. All right, so that's our message for today. I'm Don Rich. You've just experienced a rich insight. I hope you've enjoyed it. May your beer be colder than the company you keep. Thank you.